Hey everybody, this is uh, Dallas Stone here, doing episode 21, I believe. Um, it's early in the morning. Hold on, let me just get everything all set up here, make sure that I'm not going crazy. Yep, it is episode 21. And uh, first off, I just want to say thank you guys so much again for all the subscribers, all the likes. Uh, I haven't really seen too many comments, but you know, I'm, you know, I guess the comments and the interactivity will just come over time as uh, more viewers start to see some of this stuff. If you guys are starting to notice, uh, we're coming further along now. Uh, you know, the first pass of a bunch of these, pro uh, a bunch of these uh, models are on its way. Um, you got the side down. Here, let me turn on wireframe so you can kind of see a little bit more. Right, so we got a bunch of that going on. And uh, obviously, we're still gonna need to add some more polish to some of these. Like, if we if we're not liking the shape that we're seeing or whatever, we're gonna go in and add to it. Uh, I got my cup of coffee this morning. It's early. It's like six forty-five, and I have about um, about two hours to record today. So that's probably gonna be a good, f hopefully, four episodes for you guys. <coughs> and I'm hoping. I get to come home a little bit early from all my errands, and I can come and continue to record a few more videos. But the modeling phase is starting to come close to uh, being done, and then you guys are gonna get, to, gonna get to see me do some things in Unreal. I need to refresh my memory on Unreal, but I'll be in Unreal, uh, so that'll be kind of <clears throat> the next step there. All right. So today, though, for modeling wise. Uh, I'm thinking we should finish this off, uh, finish this part here, and I'm actually gonna because this is not gonna be seen that much, right? It's gonna be kind of it, at, at the end there, right? <coughs> actually, it's not true. I still gotta model my trees, but regardless, that's well, well, <laughs> well sorry, completely got sidetracked there. So I gotta go and model my trees, but whatever. We'll do that later on. Okay, uh, so this this is the next thing on the list of things to do. Uh, so what do I want to do here? I'm thinking the base for this is going to be relatively simple. Relatively simple. Nothing too snazzy, I don't think. I want to do this. I mean, we can. Modular pieces is obviously the best way to go. Like, if I took. Like, I can take this, obviously. Rotated it. I gotta practice not saying this. I gotta start saying faces and. Pronunciating some of my stuff here. <clears throat> okay. So if I take this, if I take uh, this face with the window, and I create something modular with it, just to kind of use <coughs> and showcase uh, this a little bit more. This, uh, these windows, because I built these windows, you know, you're not going to see them that much, so it's not going to feel like it's repeating too much, so I should be able to reuse this, reuse <coughs> this piece a lot more. So let's just go in and try that, and what a problem that I'm running into though is these pillars these pillars that I have right here <coughs> let me just grab my reference here the reference isn't going to show me too much just because again it's not like you don't even get to see the side right you get to see the side a little bit that there's some sort of building back here but you don't really see the detail so <coughs> maybe I'm overthinking this maybe I don't Need to go in that in that much detail, right? 
and these pillars could be relatively simple as well I can I feel like I want to use these but I don't <coughs> doesn't make any sense but what it just said there made no sense okay well I can just separate this right now or uh, the groups of stuff delete a bunch of these windows because <coughs> now I need to kind of create my own idea here I need to create my own idea and I'm thinking I'm just gonna <coughs> move these upwards <coughs> and this bottom piece I'm just going to build as like a base that's what I'm thinking here <clears throat> I'm not gonna put too much detail into this side into uh, this building in the back <clears throat> I think we're gonna need the faces in the back I'm gonna delete the uh, the faces <coughs> there though, just in the back there, just because I don't think I'll I'll need it. I'll delete the bottom ones down here. Take the window frame, shove this, shove it into here. Just see how it looks, and. That should be okay. Noticing that <coughs> the faces over here are like poking through. And that's not very clean. So I'm just going to go and clean that up right now. And as you guys can tell, if I isolate this, it's going to do it to all of them, which again is huge. Right, that's massive. Just gonna go like this. Um, I'm just gonna go like that with the vertices. I'm gonna move slightly closer, just because you don't want it crashing through anything from behind. Not that you're gonna see anything from behind. It's just a more of a a cleaning, a cleanup, keeping it clean. All right, so we got our uh, kind of like a roof, right? I almost feel like I might be even be able to use this roof, like reuse this roof if I strategically do this correctly. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see. Let's see. Here we go. Move this up. Get this. <coughs> I'm going to move these vertices up. Move the vertices all the way up to the top here, and we kind of got get like this roof idea going on. And I might be able to just move the roof all the way to the back here, just to kind of hide a bunch of things. Right, kind of got <coughs> a roof that's a bit tilted. Right, not perfect kind of thing. There, that might work. That might work. I think it gives a little bit more of an idea of what we're going for. And what I'll do is I'll just bring this, these vertices back out. 
<clears throat> there we have it. We have some cleaner. Better idea of where we're trying to go with this. <clears throat> and, like, I feel like I want to put more detail into this pillar, but <clears throat> it's almost not justified because you're not going to see the detail in it. Which is why I'm almost like fighting to see. <clears throat> I'm like fighting to see if I want to even have this angle. You know what? I'm just gonna. this delete that that line that loop and since no one's gonna see the area here <coughs> I'm just going to duplicate special this is just gonna be uh, another trim I will bevel this I guess I mean this is just me Like I probably don't need to, but I'll do it anyways. Just because I might use uh, this elsewhere. Around the scene. This just becomes an, like another trim, essentially. Essentially, just becomes another trim. So adding some skewage to it so it's not so plain. And this is on the x axis. X axis. Minus forty two. X axis minus forty two minus forty two. Let's go four. What? I think I got freeze transformations. Let's freeze it. Minus 136. 136. 136. 136. Apply. There we go. Now we got a better idea of what that's going to look like. It's a bunch of crashing going on on that end there, but there's not much you can do about that. This is about the same thing. Okay, special. <clears throat> so I'm gonna try and fudge this a little bit. Just a tad bit. Not liking how this is crashing through like that. So what I might do <coughs> is just put a plain wall there. I might even just put a plain wall. I might just even put a plain wall. And for this, I'm just going to see how it's like changing, right? <clears throat> Again, I don't know. Like, it's not even, I don't even know if it's worth it for me to tilt it differently because you're not really going to see it. If I do start to notice that it's like in view of the camera quite often in the render shots, 
and I'll spend some extra time and I'll tweak them up a bit, but at this moment it's not really something that you're going to be too focused on. So I'm just going to create a plane, a simple plane. <coughs> Oh, so that's another thing that I need to practice is like sitting back on my chair and being a little bit more relaxed I know I have a pretty good posture when I'm at work but when I'm doing these uh, videos I posture up a bit more I don't know why it's probably my desk because my chair doesn't actually go uh, inside my desk because it's too tall and I actually took out the the keyboard tray which was probably a mistake I wonder if I still have my keyboard tray because you know what now when I think about the keyboard tray keyboard tray is it's not a bad idea I forgot why I took out the keyboard tray I think the keyboard tray was also causing issues as well. I can't fully remember though, but getting completely sidetracked here. Okay, um, sorry about that. Just got completely sidetracked there. It happens, you know. Sometimes, as as an artist, staying focused is one of the hardest things to do as as a creative person. You know, mind wanders sometimes, and you start to ask yourself questions, and <coughs> it is what it is, right? So we got that plane in there now. Everything's crashed through. Everything's looking good. No one's really going to see this crashing through. But if you're like making a video game, you're going to have to think a little bit harder with how to crash things through. Same with this here. Like if you're creating a level and people are actually going to like be able to explore these areas, you need to be a little bit smarter and more strategic on where you want to put these. So for me, I'm just going to fudge it a bit. I might <coughs> actually add in another loop here. Just because it's uh, looking a little bit wonky. Make sure that everything's selected correctly. And there we go. I'm just gonna take this plane. I'm actually just gonna rotate it a bit, just kind of <coughs> form fit it to what's going on here. Uh, let's see where is that. Yeah, I'm just gonna form fit it. There. <sighs> Excuse me. All right. So there's our side. I think that that's good for our side here. And again, you know, I'm not putting that much detail in it. It looks a little bit symmetrical, but for our renders, I'm pretty certain that this is going to be most of it's going to be covered. I'm going to have trees on the side, right? I'm going to have trees here. I'm going to have my fence here. <coughs> fence here. I mean, I'll show you guys the scene in Unreal. Uh, after all of this, the this first pass of modeling is in. And um, so yeah, so I think I'm gonna end the video here. It's a little bit of a shorter video, but I feel like when I'm finished certain sections and stuff, I should probably try and break it up into different videos. I've been watching a little bit of digital tutors and just how they like breaking down their videos. So I think that's what I'll start doing a little bit more of. Um, again, your comments and stuff are so important. So if you guys have any comments and stuff like that, uh, any ideas that you guys want to share, please come forward and, and shoot them at me. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, hopefully I'll see you guys again in the next video. Keep it real.